Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I hope you're having a great 2017 so far. I have a little bit of a cold, but thankfully you cannot catch a cold through a video. That's good. So if you've ever been in a situation where you wanted to go grab some layers from another drawing file, I'm gonna show you the, what I think is the easiest and fastest way to do that. I think that is through Design Center. And I've talked about Design Center before, but not for this specific reason. All right, so let's take a look at the drawing I have right now. You'll see that I have some layers in here, but uh, not all the layers that I want. I wanna go grab some layers from another drawing file where the layers are already set up with the right properties and everything. All right, so Design Center. This is Design Center right here. How do you get to it? Control two, that's the fastest way to get to Design Center. Design Center used to be really popular and then it kind of faded away into the abyss and, and yet it's so powerful. Don't forget to use Design Center. You can do so much with it. All right, so Control two. And then what you need to do is you need to navigate to the drawing file that has the layers in it that you want. All right, and I'm gonna go to this drawing file called Mount View Drawing, all right? And you can actually mine the information inside of that drawing file, not just layers. You can grab blocks, you can grab layouts and line types and all kinds of stuff. And I'm gonna focus on layers because that's what I promised you. All right, so let's take a look at all the layers in this drawing file. You don't have to grab them all, but I am gonna grab all of them. I'm not gonna grab layer zero, there's no point. So I'm gonna start with that one and I'm gonna hold my shift key down. I'm gonna grab them all, all right? I'm gonna do a right click on any one of them and you'll see there's an option here for add layers. You can also just drag them over into the drawing file if you prefer. But I'm going to say add layers. It's just that simple. Now let's take a look in my layer list. You can see much longer than it was before, right? Very, very simple. Now all of those layers are inside of my current drawing. You didn't have to add them all. You saw I selected them all. I didn't have to, didn't have to go like that. It also, once again, I could have done, for example, I could have grabbed dimension styles, the same idea. I could have selected the dimension style, did a right click and added that specific dimension style as well. So it's a great way to save yourself some time and not have to, you know, create these layers or dimension styles or text styles individually. All right, and then I did show this to you before. I'm gonna show it to you again because it's been like five years since I've done it. If you are the ultimate of all lazy, and let's face it, I am the ultimate of all lazy. In fact, let me just undo this and undo, undo, undo. Let's get rid of all those layers so we're back to just a few layers. Are we back to just a few layers? Okay, you can do this. You can go into the insert command. <laughs> And you can find whatever join file you're after. I'm going to grab the same join file. And then you can hit OK. And you don't insert it. You hit an escape, okay? All you do is pretend you're going to insert it and hit an escape. And guess what? You will also get all of those layers. Let me caution you. You will not just get all of those layers. You will also get all the dimension styles, all the text styles, as well as a few other things, line types, you name it. Um, but hey... If you're lazy like me and you don't mind a little extra baggage, you'll get your job done really fast. So that's another option for you as well. So pick your poison, it's up to you. My job is to help you get your job done fast and that's what I just did. So <laughs> I am gonna go take another cold tablet and you, I hope will have a great 2017. Thank you for joining me.